lights up when you come home, turns off when you fall asleep, wakes you up slowly and gradually, and turns off when you leave. Hi, Alex Train here, and I actually test all the features, not just read them out. In fact, I have this medical grade light PVM meter that can detect flicker that might be invisible to the eye, but still can cause eye strain, headaches, loss of concentration, or even nausea. All this B-roll was of me testing the PVM, not to waste your precious time. And, in short, it aced it, unlike your new iPhone or your Samsung Galaxy phone. This, as many other awesome things on Mi Home, is a mail in China product. So, no English manual, shifted time zones for the simulated sunrise, and you have to set it up with the Chinese server in the Mi Home app. Don't worry, the app itself does have English. I'll have to warn you that the app might be a bit slow or laggy at times. A restart usually helps out, otherwise it's rather straightforward and easy to use. Here you can choose one of the 16 million RGB colors, adjust the brightness or the correlated color temperature. By the way, all these simple adjustments can be performed manually. Single press the only button on the device to turn it on or off. Spinning or I guess, well, rotating the lamp will change the brightness. And if you hold down the button as you spin, it will change the color. And by double pressing, you go into the colorated color temperature mode. Unfortunately, in this mode you cannot control the brightness, only how warm or cold the lamp is. And when the lamp is on, a long press by default will trigger the midnight mode that dims the light way lower than the user accessible 1%. The lamp remembers the settings you have set even after losing power. Alternatively, you can set the long press to trigger the music mode. It's kind of gimmicky at best, but what's really cool, it has a built-in microphone, so the Chinese government can spy on you even if you forgot your cell phone at work or just activate it in the app. Other, more advanced features include wake up, aka sunrise mode, turns on the lamp 15 minutes prior to the alarm and gradually increases the brightness, preparing your body and gently wakes you up every morning, stress free, I would still set up a conventional alarm clock just in case you sleep in, totally love this feature, but unfortunately you have to set it up via the Beijing time zone. A little inconvenient and I did send a few bug reports, there was actually an update as I was filming this video, but alas, still no fix. Sleep mode, pretty much the opposite, you set a countdown timer that gradually turns off the lamp. Scenes, pre-programmed modes that are rather limited and I see no way of making any personal ones. There is also a timer feature, turns on the last use setting on the assigned time. You can set up multiple alarms, I used it for the Pomodoro time management technique but not really that convenient. But to take full advantage of the lamp, you need to purchase Xiaomi's best-selling, super affordable Mi Band. It's crazy how much value you get out of this, especially if you live in China. NFC for public transportation and payments, voice assistant, music control, fitness tracker, notifications, yada yada. But that's a topic for a whole separate video. This is where the intro comes to play. Lights up when you come home, turns off when you fall asleep, and turns off when you leave. This is achieved by syncing the Mi Band to the lamp via Bluetooth. Just make sure you use the set effective time, otherwise it might randomly wake you up or your partner as you take a stroll to the bathroom. The sync is possible because the lamp is actually a Bluetooth hub, a strong selling point or not. In theory, it should connect your BLE Mi Home devices for automation, but it's lackluster at best. This Mi temperature and humidity monitor doesn't save the history for whatever reasons, and these motion activated lights lack triggers and complex commands. I'll be making reviews on two kinds of temperature and humidity monitors and three kinds of motion night lamp soonish. So subscribe not to miss. If we are talking about drawbacks, I think the biggest one is the absence of a built-in battery. How awesome would it be if you could just take it with you as you chill, reading your favorite book or for a romantic meal. You can even use it as a task light. At maximum brightness, you get over 500 lux, the ideal conditions for your eyes. Another big thing, it's a dust and fingerprint magnet. I actually didn't clean it much for the video so you could see the dust at the b-roll. It's not really noticeable much if you don't look for it, but it's there and be careful cleaning it, on the forums they say it's very easy to damage the lamp. So I guess it's important to say that the box will probably provide sufficient protection during shipping, even if someone kicks it. 
And the last one is kinda nitpicky, the app doesn't let you control multiple lamps simultaneously. Yes, you can do automation rules, but you can't really do it fast on the fly. Oh god, this was a very hard video for me. 200 gigabytes of video footage, hundreds of clips of b-roll. So if you liked it, please like, leave a comment and I don't know, subscribe. There'll be way more videos coming about Xiaomi, gaming and just, you know, electronics in general. So if you like what you see, click that button and see you in the next one.